I decided to go with this um, rainbow zip in the end um, but now we need to know how long do we want to make it so uh, taking our item your lap top your book you know because you think this is a book bag if you wanted to or um, oh, I don't know I think it might be quite nice for sheet music as well that you could take if you're doing piano lessons or you're a choir singer you know it can be used for anything you can think of so but to find out how long we want the zip we need to take our measurement and i'm taking into account this usb bit sticking out so at my uh width or length measurement is 12 and a half my width measurement rounding it up is eight so that's 20 and a half plus two inches you've always got to add two inches so that's 20 and a half okay and i've already done this because i videoed it once and it didn't come out so i took my length of uh i took my length of zip from one well i was a bit generous just over 22 and a half inches okay so that's the length of zip that i want and i could just cut it off uh i've only put one ring pull on you see I was looking at it and I was thinking to myself, do you know what, uh, I, worked, I looked at um, my invoice that I had with this and the three metres of this uh, uh, zipper <coughs> came to £12. So uh, it's like, you know, it wasn't too bad for a metre of uh, zipper tape. Uh, but when I looked at the invoice, I got five of these uh, zip pulls yeah and uh, when I looked at how much that cost me these were over two pound each because they're specialized as I said plush addicts is not cheap normally speaking when I buy uh, zipper pulls for uh, plain zips yeah they're like oh I don't know 8p 10p 12p each this was over two pound so instead of put i would normally put one on from the other end as well so that they would very nicely meet in the middle yeah so i'd have a double zipper pull for this i'm not i'm tight that's too much two pounds something for one zipper pull that's all i'm putting on you <laughs> so as far as i'm concerned that's that now the next thing i want to do uh, so that i don't accidentally uh, come off the end of this and spoil it okay is I'm going to go go to the machine and I am going to do uh, using a wide stitch probably a number four stitch a very wide stitch I am going to do a tack back and forth 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 to give me a stop end on both ends so that I don't accidentally pull off my zipper pull after it took me five minutes to get it on in the first place okay Okay, so I have, uh, I'll bring this up so you can see it, I have over uh, cut these, over sewn these ends so that my uh, bit won't come off, alright, and then we get out our um, piece that we made as our gusset with the foam, and we need to put the zipper right sides together with the foam, one end, alright, and uh, clip that and then go to the machine and sew a quarter of an inch seam um, across there to attach the zipper this is the zip is right sides down to the right sides of the uh, gusset piece so quarter of an inch down this side I'll come back to you then take your lining piece of gusset which has got the, the uh, non-moving attached to it and place that pretty sides together on top of 
the strip so that your zip is sandwiched and all pretty sides are matching and again um, clip that in place uh, and we're going to do another quarter of an inch seam uh, you could follow the one that you've done on the back if you want but it's a quarter inch seam to hold that end together Okay, so now I've sewn the lining piece across here. What we need to do is take the lining and fold it back with everything else. Okay, and I can put a, what I need to do now. Is take some more clips. and just uh, clip that in place all right and now what i want to do is uh do well i think it's we don't need quarter of an inch eighth of an inch should be good top stitch across the length of this eighth of an inch okay so i've just top stitched across here all right now so this all works well for us when we come to um put everything together what we need to do is to just sort of trim a little bit into it you see what I'm doing uh, on the outside towards the tape I could probably uh, make it a little bit more subtle than that so that when we come to attach this on the back there's not going to be a huge difference a, 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 a staggered end so I'm just yeah there we go. I'm just taking out those stark corners all right now we need to try and fit this around the bag just as a tester to see how much zip we need so taking one of your sides i'm going to work with my top side right and i'm going to want a uh, pretty sides together all right so i'm going to start clipping i don't know quite where i want it but it doesn't really matter where you start because um at the end of the day this is just testing the size so i'm going to get out a load of clips and i am um, just going to clip the whole thing around the back. Don't necessarily need both parts of the zip, so I've just opened that to make it easier. So, with the best metal in the world, try and make it fit as we go around. Pull your handles out the way. Because we're just doing this now to test for length. Alright. Need some more wonder clips. Ease the zip, open it further. So 
He's in the zip. Around these corners. Continue clipping. The rest of the gusset. Keeping the gusset together as we do it. Uh, this is, as I say, this is just for measurement for a moment. We're not going to save this yet. Easing it around the corners, all right. To there. Okay, so we've got all the way around. Um, now I'm gonna just unclip the bottom of that zipper because all we want is the zipper to come half an inch over the edge of those uh, marks, that, over the edge of the gusset. So um, I'm just going to get my ruler, my half inch mark from my ruler, and get my pen. Where's my pen? And draw a line on the zipper. All right, so I know where to cut it. And obviously at this stage, do not undo the zipper uh, because there's gonna be nothing stopping the stopper to come out. And then cutting in a straight line, cut that zipper off. So it's just a half inch over the end of the gusset. All right, now we can unclip absolutely everything um, and know that it's going to fit properly around our bag so I'm just getting rid of all the clips now okay and in the same way as we did with the other end uh, I want the gusset right sides facing up the zipper uh, wrong uh, sides down and again I'm going to just clip that and do a quarter inch uh, seam across there so I've just sewn this quarter of an inch here zipper right side down to uh, right sides together with the um, exterior fabric and now bringing the lining fabric through and making sure it's not twisted again right sides together with the exterior fabric bring that pitch that and exactly the same we are going to do quarter of an inch seam holding all three pieces together Okay, now having done that quarter of an inch with the lining fabric, as we did before, 
all right we need to make sure we're not getting uh, tangled up i'll just put a clip in there a quiet clip for a moment in there make sure we're not getting tangled up i need to go back to this end of yes i did that one go back to this end of it and do an eighth of an inch seam across here and also then once i've done that i will trim this to uh, just graduate from the width of the zip to the body okay so now i've been done that top stitch across there uh, now I am just going to hold it nice and firmly and just gently gradiate the uh, gusset to fit the width of the zip so that we don't have this huge chunk. Um, obviously I need to... Uh, Do it a little there we are more capsules and that so you see what i'm saying right now <coughs> the next thing we need to do is to base the line in to the gusset uh it's a bit more floppy than it should be so let's turn it the other way round that gives it more proportion and uh yeah that's looking better isn't it so I'll just put a couple of clips to steady it and I'll do an eighth of an inch all the way around to baste these layers together. So having just basted all the base together, I'm going to put those two together and I'll put a clip in it to hold this so it won't move. Okay, and now I need to do some marks. So using my pen, I'm going to do a mark there and a mark there. And the same with the zip. Okay. I'm going to put a mark halfway around the zip on both sides of the tape. All right. And then I'm going to take that clip off and put those two marks i just made together all right that mark against that mark making sure they're correct and put a pin hold it there all right and then i can make Smoothing it out, I can make a mark on this end and this end and the same the other end. I can make a mark here and there. Right, so that's quarter inch marks now on that band so consequently now we're going to really pin it we have to make quarter inch marks on our uh, bag so let's fold it in half and make a quarter inch mark on the foam both sides doesn't want to write does it that's it now and then obviously in the exact same way i need to fold it in half upwards so that i can make the same marks quarter of an inch round the bag Mm -hmm. right so now with our band right sides together all right sides together we'll start to pin forget the handle we start to pin 
So our center mark for our zip has to match up with the center mark that we made on the panel. The uh, center mark on the side has to match up with the center mark on the panel. Right sides together. Centre mark on the bottom has to match up as well. Pin that. And the centre mark on this side has to match up. All right. Now, having got the four pieces in line, now what we need to do is to pin the rest of it ready to take to the sewing machine. So as you can see, I've now gone round and pinned everything in the right shape. So that's ready to go over now to our sewing machine. Okay, so we brought this now to our machine. And I don't know whether or not whoa, I uh, said to you before, but I am now using a corresponding colour in the top and I'm still using white in the bottom. Um, and I have put on a universal needle. Yeah, my machine can cope with this is a Schmetz universal needle. My machine can cope with this. If you've got a smaller machine, because remember now we're going through two layers of foam and everything else, then you may want to put in a top stitch needle. It, with, it just gives you that little bit of extra oomph, okay, or a denim needle. Um, you will have to work this out for yourself. If one isn't working, then swap it out, okay? Um, so I am going to start where the uh, uh, zip meets the proper part of uh, the gusset. I'm going to start there, okay, and we're going to do a quarter inch seam all the way around. So a few forward, a few backwards to get us started. All right, as I say, this is not a race. Um, we just want to make sure that we're keeping that quarter inch as we go. And Oh, I'm also on normal stitch lengths for this. As you come round to these corners, you want to use your fingers to make sure you're still in position, but you're not <coughs> sewing over. And you can feel with your fingers that you're not sewing over um, any uh, folds underneath, any any uh, rucked up bits. Okay, so we're literally just doing a quarter inch seam until I come back up. Over my gusset. Now, okay, so you can see that's all sewn down really nicely. 
Yep. Uh, so now I'm turning it around to the right, well, the right the way I can see the zipper because I want to be in a bit more control of the zipper. Okay. So a few forward, a few back. And now I can... Use my fingers, I hope you can see, using my fingers or a stiletto, nice stiletto, I got one, I can hold that outside a lip of fabric. to the corners, the rounds that I want. Okay, get the handle out of the way. Now we're coming on straight piece. That's nice. And making sure that we're keeping our zipper on the fabric. And also, when, when we're going past the handles, make sure your handles are well out of the way because we don't want that trapped in the zipper whatsoever. Okay, so just continuing down in my quarter inch. All the way. And again, I'm coming to a bit I, you notice I opened the zip just to make it easier for myself. So I, I want to pull out my zip tape to cover that edge as I go round. Oh. Come out, zip tape. I take that one out. I want that zip tape there. Even if I only got to do a couple of stitches at a time, I can pull that zip tape to the edge, all right? So now we're coming back to where we started, a couple over the gusset and a couple back. Okay, so now, we have sewn, so far, can you see, we have sewn that gusset in to the back and the zip in to the back. Alright, so, but leave it as it is because now we need to pin the lining on top. <laughs> 